By the end of this video, you'll be able to calculate the covariance between two variables very easily. But first, let's look at the two formulas we have. As always, we have a population covariance and we also have a sample covariance. Now, if you're still confused on the difference between population and sample, make sure to check out the video I made where I explain this in more detail. So as you can see, the, popula the population covariance is equal to the sum of n times where i starts at 1 of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar over capital N. Okay, now in this case, x bar and y bar are means. Okay, so x bar is the mean of x and y bar is the mean of y. Then the sample covariance is essentially the same but over the sample size small n minus 1. Okay. So let's apply these formulas to this exercise. The exercise reads, the company collects the number of errors made in the factory on the same days the temperatures were recorded. The data below is an extract of six days from June. The mean of errors is seven, and the mean of temperature remains at 19. Use the above data to calculate the covariance of temperature and errors. So the first thing to note in this exercise is that here we're talking about a sample, right? Because this as the question indicates, is an extract of six days from June. So we know this is a sample. And then they're also very kind in this exercise because they already have calculated the means for us. Okay, so we know the mean of errors and the mean of temperatures, which saves us a lot of work. Okay, so first let's name the variables. Okay, so temperature, we can call x and errors can be y, okay? So what we know so far is that x bar is 19, which is the mean of temperature, and y bar is seven, the mean of errors. Now we also know that our sample size here, small n, is six, okay? Because there are six days, excellent. So let's apply the formula. So the covariance is equal to, remember, xi, okay? So i takes a value of, starts at one and can be up to n. So here, i is equal to one, okay, on day one. Here two, i is equal to two, okay, and so on. So the covariance starts with x1 minus x bar, right, remember? So x1, in this case is 18, minus x bar, which is 19, times y1 minus y bar, so 7 minus 7. Okay, and then we keep, and then we carry on for the other terms. So now y is equal to 2. So now we have x2 minus x bar, so 17 minus 19, times 4 minus 7, plus now day 3, 23 minus 19, and then 9 minus 7, and we carry on, plus 16 minus 19, times 4 minus 7, plus 21 minus 19, times 10 minus 7, plus 19 minus 19, times 8, minus seven and then we have this whole thing over n minus one okay so six minus one excellent so now we can simplify these terms so 18 minus 19 is minus one times seven minus seven which is zero so remember anything times zero is zero so you can just forget about this term then 17 minus 19 is minus two times four minus seven, which is minus three, plus 23 minus 19 is four times two, 16 minus 19 minus three times minus three, 21 minus 19 is two times 10 minus seven is three, two times three. And then again here we have 19 minus 19, which is zero. 
So again, we can forget about this term because it's zero times something, which is zero. Okay, so then we have this whole thing over six minus one, which is five. Again, we further simplify. Minus two times one is three is six, plus eight, plus nine, plus six over five, which gives us, let's see, 17 plus 623 plus 629 over 5. And if you plug this into your calculator, you should get 5.8. So 5.8 is the covariance between temperatures and errors. So that's it for this exercise. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them.